Hello, everybody. Welcome to a single player version of this game. As you guys are already familiar with what this is, this is Seven Days to Die. Game audio might be a little bit loud. Let's turn it down just a hair. Yeah, that's about, that's about good right there, I think. Um, so, this is Seven Days to Die, as you guys are probably aware. Um, we have been doing a multiplayer version of this game where um, you... The goal was to kill every each other. Um, last last man standing, or last team standing, depending on. Well, I guess it's always been uh, single player, hasn't it? Or always been multiplayer. Um, I guess uh, there was a season where Co was on his own. Uh, so, anyways, last man standing, or last team, sorry, last team standing wins. Um, right now we're on hiatus. We are we are waiting for the game to update with the updated version. <laughs> feel like uh, I'm saying things that are very self-explanatory. Um, so yeah, we're waiting for the game to update right now, and in the meantime, I just fucked that ground up, uh, I'm going to do a little bit of single player. Um, I, I have played some single player, and I thought about doing a series a while back, but I thought it might be a little bit confusing with us having the multiplayer going as well. If I did, if I had a single player. Um, but since the single player, or the multiplayer is on hiatus right now, until... Until the game updates, I, I don't think this will be confusing. Hopefully it's not confusing. If you're confused, I'm so sorry. Please don't be confused. Um, I think I just repaired that by accidentally hitting right click. Who knew that you could repair that? Um, so my goal is obviously to live well beyond... Um, seven days but uh my goal is to build a place i've always wanted every fucking time we play this game i'm playing it too much like a single player um in the multiplayer and uh i know that so what am i missing i need more sticks oh wait i can make more sticks like i i identify my problem i know that i get a little bit too um single player oriented like I'm I'm too too PvE oriented here um, when I play this game and uh, I build defenses that will only always only ever gonna work in single player I dilute myself into believing <laughs> that that maybe uh, my landmines and my spikes will work though I do know that uh, in the last season where I had made landmines and I think that they were they were pretty pretty smart things to have been made. I do know that uh, um, the other team got told about them, <laughs> so it didn't matter because uh, the comments had, had informed them. Um, so we've learned from... Uh, there's a bear. Uh, we've learned from our mistakes, as a, as a group at least, um, and we'll make sure that we record our seasons so far in advance that we'll never the comments will never be relevant anymore. So we fixed that problem, um, which is kind of what we did in the first season, where it was just like us versus co. Um but then we uh, we got behind in the second. Like, that was our plan for the second season as well. But we ended up getting behind. And that ended up working out. So, like I said, I played this on single player quite a bit. And I've been very unlucky. I decided to build beside a town once. And that was not smart. Um, by city. Because uh, every fucking day there was a new horde of dogs attacking me. And, uh, so I never, ever overcame, overcame that. And, like, I didn't actually found a house, find a house. I built a house on my, on my own, which was also, uh, probably, probably silly of me. Because I was having to constantly try to get wood to build this, this house. Um, so speaking of a house, we got this one right here. And I think I'm just going to go ahead and make it ours. Um, or at least try. Let's see how many zombies we have to deal with here. There's definitely going to be some. Um, so I don't want to heavily edit this series. Uh, definitely not undetected. Uh, 
haven't quite worked out the drop yet. I've read that in the update, uh, the prefab houses won't have as many zombies around them, which is pretty good, considering how ridiculous this is. Um, fuck me. This guy here is so much faster than them. Missed him too. I wish you could pick up your arrows when you miss. Fuck me. Alright, let's see if we can just, uh... Oh. Alright, I'll let it... That sucked. Alright, one down. It's the ones that, uh, Jesus Christ, there's so many. Uh, it's the ones that kind of stagger a bit that uh, are really hard to deal with for me. We've kind of uh, got them away from the house. Let's see if we can just kind of run into the house now. We're right here by a road. That's pretty good. It's similar to the houses that, uh... oh, this is, um, this was the house that Doc and I had. Um, Doc and Anders and I had. Okay. Am I still hunted? No, I'm undetected now at least. It's not stopping them from busting my fucking house in there. Shit. This is a good thing. Alright, so I'm going to need food and all those type of things. But I'm going to need, as you guys know, lots of wood to uh, repair this house here. So maybe this is not a good spot because there's uh there's not a lot of trees around. So it's gonna be pretty difficult to uh to repair this house. But it does come with a forge already, which is it's pretty nice. This with this asshole too. They're not so bad on flat ground when they're walking straight at you, right? You can just keep on headshotting them. The problem is how many arrows it takes until you get like an orange bow or better. These fucking guys. I think they're just attracted to the house. And after this one, good. You came with feathers. I needed that. Need to get more stone. There's enough of these little logs around. I probably, I probably can repair the house with what I see around me here. Any more stone? I don't know. If, I don't know how much I like the desert. I know Badge always complained about losing uh, losing his thirst in the desert. I don't know if that's really a thing. Fuck me. Okay, where'd that fat bastard? Okay, he just wandered off. Okay, looks like everyone's kind of wandering off. I'm not. All right, I'm undetected. 
Where to check that? I guess if they're not coming for me right now, I can ignore them. Though I don't know what's going to happen at night time if I continue to ignore them. This is not as good as trees, but the bonus is there's no chance that this fucking thing's gonna fall on my head and kill me, which is uh that's a pretty good thing after dying to so many uh so many trees. You kinda get tired of that. know if I'm making a big mistake by just settling at the first house I see. I kind of think I might be, because there's probably better options. But I guess if I secure this house, maybe I'm trying to rush too much. I don't know. If I secure this house, then uh, I should be good to go out and find other houses and even move or whatever. I want a place to call home. I like always having to have a place to call home in my games. That bird nest is very hidden. Alright. Let me get... That's not hittable. Okay. Even though I'm undetected, I don't feel very undetected. Do this. Fuck. Like the start of this game is so unforgiving. Jesus fucking Christ, man. Look how many more in the house now. Noxious. I hate the start of this game. It takes so long to actually get to where you can do anything, it feels like. on When you're on your own. It's so weird, because like whenever I play... Oh, fuck me. When I play with Baj and them, it doesn't feel like this. And I don't know if it's because the zombies are just so spread out over all the players or what. But every time I've played single player, I feel so overwhelmed... Um, at the start of the game that I never feel like I ever get caught up. Like whenever Baj and I had built that last house, I felt like we really spent quite a bit of time just farming and building in the start of the game. And I haven't had that same experience single player. Like, there's, the whole house is just full of fucking zombies right now. And I've killed... Like, that's the thing I guess I don't understand. I think they fixed it um, based on what they've said. 
is like I don't know how exactly they expect you to ever get going with all the shit they throw at you right at the start it's almost uh, what, what time has it become night time I guess I was thinking it was 1800 I guess it's uh, not we got a zombie inside yep Somewhere. Oh, there's one. Fucking hell, man. But I guess uh, early on, a lot of times, Baj is, or whoever I'm with, is doing a lot of the zombie killing. And not necessarily me. I'm missing light fiber. I'm missing stones. I'm going through my stones too quick. Making all these arrows. Okay. Yeah. So where the fuck is this bastard hitting my house? This motherfucker right here. So one of the things they've added in the uh, update is the ability to. Um, take out the limbs so like I don't know if they'll still be natural crawlers but you can like make crawlers too by taking out all their limbs alright where'd the axe end up still brown quality let's take this bastard out I think we've cleared all the zombies for now. Um, so now we need to fix the fucking house before night time. Before shit gets real. Probably could have left this, honestly. But I'm tearing it out now, so... You can commit. It's weird uh, repairing the same house I've already repaired once before. Uh, I think they've added a lot more uh, prefab houses now as well. And one of the things, one of the things they're adding is um, the ability to upgrade all the way through. So, like, what I mean by that is right now, um, whenever I upgrade that wood, it's a wooden item. It's it's only it's always going to be a wooden item. You know what I mean? So, like, I can upgrade it all I want, all the way to the, the like steel plated wood, but that's as far as it goes. Whereas, uh, what they're adding is the ability to upgrade all the way. Like you just keep going. Like it goes from steel plated wood to concrete to whatever. It just keeps getting better. Now, which I think is a good change. Cause right now how it is you have to like basically tear down something you've built to replace it with the next grade material. These fucking empty bird nests are the worst. I have to think about food before too long too. See that bunny reminded me. I've seen a pig and I've seen just about one of every animal, haven't I? This guy's gonna just kill himself from fall damage, and I'm gonna eat him. Good job. Ooh, nice. Some pasta. 
like pasta. What I'll probably do is cut out the nighttime stretches to some degree. Um, what I'll probably do is record them, and if anything exciting happens, you guys will get to see it, and if nothing exciting happens, then I'll just cut it. Because what i found the best thing to do at night in single player is to sit very, very still and do nothing until daytime. And so that's probably what I'm going to do, which doesn't lead to very exciting content. Oh. It's not eighteen hundred, I should wait two hundred. I hope that's right. Where are the logs? Here they are. Okay, let's go put six frames on. Thing and I see stones, but they're just little cactuses. I think we're going to be kind of okay at night here because I've cleared out all the zombies. Let's get rid of uh, these piles in case anything spawns. Bottom floor wise. Okay, here, let's see what's in the medicine cabinet. Not bad, not bad. These doors are fucking worthless, man. Let's just get rid of this for right now. We'll, we'll put a door here later on, like I did. Last time this was our house. And then this one. This one's alright. See, those are boarded up. Let's keep those like that. With it being a single player game, it's a completely different ball game. They've added um, ambient sounds when you walk over certain things too, which I think is a cool addition. Like uh, the trash will give you like uh, the glass breaking sounds and stuff like that. I guess cactuses aren't that bad, um, uh, because they, uh, they, they would deal damage to the zombies themselves. I actually have to take a break really quickly here, so we'll be right back. Alrighty guys, we are back here, and, uh, a little bit of time passed. I forgot to hit record when I started back up, so I've repaired that wall, um, Repair this door, make it a little bit better. Um, I went ahead and put down here. Listen, I just saw something that was damaged. I guess that was in my head. Okay. Uh, I put this down here. For some reason, there's some light coming in somewhere here. What the hell, man? Our stuff isn't uh, put together very well. Oh, this, I didn't even notice this bookcase here. With nothing in it, man. That's lame. Some water. Be 
nice if we got lucky with a cooking pot. A bit of water here. It's almost night night here. Once it gets night night, I'm probably gonna stop recording. Well, I don't know, I might keep recording, but I'm going to basically What is that sound? Is that a refrigerator? It is the refrigerator. I didn't know the refrigerator let off a sound like that. Um What I'm probably gonna do is just uh Checked that. I think I've searched everything in this house now. There's a desk upstairs I haven't searched. Get scrap iron in that. Alright, some tank tops. Alright, I hear zombies. It's time to get quiet. Well, almost. We're about a minute out. So. We could probably... Well, we need to find some clay. Let's see here. Sleeping bag. How does that be made? Uh, let's make one of those. That way, if I do die... And I'm probably all right. Oh, I was thinking, I was like, wait, there should be a ladder here, but that was something that we added. That wasn't actually part of uh, the original place. All right, there's my sleeping bag. It's all fucking dirty. Holy shit. Um, so, yeah, we're going to hunker down in here for the night, I guess, and uh, we'll see what... We'll, we'll, hopefully, everything goes well, and there's nothing to, to talk about until tomorrow when it's not nighttime anymore and it's all safe um i don't know where i'm cutting these episodes but this might be the end of today's episode and if it is i hope you guys enjoyed um and if it's not then just keep watching <laughs> yeah